we just got this um, batch of ebook records, mark records that we need to load into our catalog and after a pre-processing step. And I thought that would be a good opportunity to show the mark prep tool that I wrote um, and demonstrate its usage a little bit. So um, the, the file before it's processed is this Delta one um, mark rep. If you pass it a mark file, we'll just print all the records in it to the screen. Um, I'm doing limit one here because I don't really want to see a ton of records, but this gives me an indication of the structure of the records that I'm looking at. Um, I can count the number of records in the file with the count flag. So I see that there's 1,558. Um, I can uh, print specific fields. So I'll again limit um, if I can type right. But uh, I can print just say the 245 fields with the fields flag. So now I'm looking at all of the um, titles of these options. Um, but then I also can um, use include and exclude to filter the records. And um, you could either print them. Again, you can print their titles. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to count them. So uh, I'm going to look at um, how many have an 856, um, which should be all of them. Makes sense. Uh, in the record above, I can also see that uh, it has a 521 audience note. Um, so do they all have that? They do indeed, but I can also um, look at more than just uh, whether the field exists or not, but its contents too. So this looks at 521 fields that specifically have the text young adult in them. And I see that I only have like 300 of those. So there are other target audiences in this, in this data group. And then uh, that's looking at um, just anywhere in the field across the different subfields, but you could look in a specific subfield. So if I wanted to look in the A subfield specifically, I would do field tag, comma, A, comma, the text that I'm looking for. Um, and this is a, a reg regular expression as well. So, um, you know, something like young adult should have the same result because the period is interpreted as any character. Um, what I'm doing specifically with these is I'm proxying uh, the 856 electronic access link before loading into our catalog. Uh, pretty common operation, I imagine, for many places. So um, what I can do is take a look at the 856 fields in the records here. Uh, I'm again going to limit to just five um, so that I'm not kind of overwhelmed. And I see that uh, you know, more than five lines printed out. Uh, if I pipe the results of this to word count lines, there were 10 lines. So there's actually 10 856 fields in just five records. Well, there's two per record. Um, one is a cover image, and then one is the actual access link. Um, so when I proxy, I want to only proxy the access link, and the cover image is going to be used by the, the catalog. Um, and if I look at my other mark file that I have in this folder, um, that's been processed. Uh, so we can look at our 856, 856 fields. And I can see that indeed um, our proxy server there is in front of the access link, but not in front of the cover image. So that's good. And then if I wanted to be more precise, I could count um, the number that include our proxy server domain in the 856 to just make sure that I got them all. And indeed, every record has an 856 with our proxy domain in it. Um, so yeah, there's, there's a lot more you can do. All of these flags uh, also have shorthand versions that are just the first letter. So instead of typing out count or I, you can or include, you can do C and I. Um, there's also a exclude um, flag, and these are repeatable. Um, so you could do multiple includes and excludes to create pretty complex 
conditions. Obviously, this is going to come out to be zero because I know that they all have our proxy domain. Um, but that helps you uh, see specific records that you're looking at that have certain conditions or count the number that match certain conditions. Uh, to install the tool, you can use pip, pip x, which is a good way to manage your global Python command line tools. Um, so you can pip x install mark grep, or um, you can pip install a mark grep into a virtual environment or your system Python, and then that should be available to you on the command line as mark grep. And it has under the help or dash H flag, um, some basic usage information. So yeah, that's um, kind of a quick tour of Mark Rep, and I hope it explains how it might be used and I hope it's useful to folks.